Whenever we think of anemia, we often think of eating jaggery, beetroot, or iron-rich foods to improve the kidney health from anemia. But if I say, these items will make you worse. Shocked right. So, let us discuss about anemia and what is the most common type of anemia. And next, we will talk about its causes, symptoms, and treatment. My name is Dr. Puru Dawan, and today's video is all about anemia. I will discuss each and everything. So, watch the whole video till the end. When the level of hemoglobin or oxygen in the body is below the requirement, then it is called anemia. According to the WHO reports, the normal hemoglobin levels varies in males and females. Hemoglobin level in adult male is 13 g dl or higher, whereas in adult female, the normal value of hemoglobin is 12 g dl or higher. And if your values are below these levels, then you might be suffering from anemia. So, the question arises, what are the causes of anemia? The most common cause of anemia is the deficiency of iron, folic acid, and B12 vitamins in the body. In fact, it is observed that anemia is present in almost 42-50% of the population, and most people belong to the category of chronic kidney diseases. So, how do we know if we are suffering from anemia? Well, the answer is quite simple. You need to see the symptoms of anemia in the body, such as fatigue, weakness, breathing problems, and increase in heart rate, because these are the common symptoms of anemia and can be observed on a daily basis. But what is the real cause of anemia in chronic kidney patients? Because the causes we have discussed before are normal, and the kidneys are already damaged, so what is the main cause? Well, the main reason behind anemia in CKD patients is the deficiency of erythropoietin in the body. So, let us discuss what is erythropoietin and the main function of erythropoietin in the body. Well, it is a hormone that is naturally produced by the paratubular cells of the kidney. The main work of erythropoietin is to enhance or stimulate the red blood cell production in the body. This above statement is valid only if your kidneys are normal but in CKD patients the production of red blood cells are reduced because of the deficiency of erythropoietin. But that's not it. The lack of red blood cells and reduced amount of iron, B12, folic acid also affect the production of erythropoietin, and that causes further complications in the kidneys. So, how do we treat our kidneys from anemia? Well, there is no natural way to increase the erythropoietin in the body but you can use tablets or injections to enhance the production of erythropoietin. By doing so, your red blood cell count will increase automatically and the other elements like iron, folic acid, protein, B12 will also increase in the body. So, there are two ways you can enhance the erythropoietin levels in the kidneys. First is normal erythropoietin injection and second one is darbopoietin injection. These both are beneficial for your kidneys, so you can choose as per your requirements. But in the last, I want to add something in this video that you can use these treatment methods. But try to improve your kidney health by yourself too. Like, start eating healthy diets, stay focused to your health, and avoid bad habits in your life. I have already uploaded a video on diet chart for CKD patients to improve the kidney health naturally. Do watch that video. Also, there are many other things you can do in your daily life. Start making a schedule, exercise daily, and drink enough water to stay hydrated. And see your doctor once in a while and take proper guidance regarding your health. Also, if you have any questions regarding this video or anything related to kidneys, then feel free to comment and I will try to help you though my knowledge. Till then, stay safe and protect yourself from coming winter. See you in next video.